I've been in a lot of fun projects over the years and I'm going to tell you about them in a segment called Nev Look Back. Not Never Look Back, Nev Look Back, in case you didn't get it. I don't want to be alone. Catwalk, that's one that I usually try to forget. No, it was a fun show. It was my first series we shot in Canada. My hair was about this high. I wore um, a lot of like vests and tight outfits and boots and uh, yeah, it was a bit ridiculous, but lots of fun and probably a little bit good for me. <laughs> Not that it isn't a personal choice. Do you want to go out some time? Uh-huh. Party of Five was fantastic. Very, very good experience for me. Um, first thing that really made me hit in the States. And one of the most magical moments was when they were mixing and matching actors to match each other as siblings. And they brought in Matthew and Scott and Lacey and myself. And we all kind of looked at each other and went, oh yeah, that works. Powers of fire and feeling, hear us. The craft. Um, I went to a 20 year screening of, 20 year reunion screening of The Craft at the Hollywood Cemetery last year with Rachel True and Robin Tunney and Andy Fleming, our director. And it was pretty insane because everyone was in costumes wearing our school uniforms and getting a little. Um, a little drunk and having a lot of fun and screaming the lines at the screen. And I don't think I had ever realized what a cult kind of movie it was, what a cult classic it was, so that was a lot of fun to see. Tatum, just get in the car. Hello, Sydney. Green was an absolute blast. We shot in Santa Rosa, California, outside of San Francisco for a summer and none of us really thought that it would be huge. I mean, we had no idea. We knew the script was good, but we would literally sit together at night after shooting long days covered in blood and we'd say, do you think, do you think that maybe there might be a Halloween costume? 20 years later, I still see them. So how much is eight and a half million divided by three? Wild Things, a uh, great experience. We shot in Miami. I mean, for me, it was a blast to work with, you know, Bill Murray and Matt Dillon and Kevin Bacon and Denise. And I probably couldn't count the amount of times that men come up to me and go, what was it like shooting that scene with Denise? Good, it was good. All that went into this ballet. The company was a magical experience. Um, it was a project that I had uh, it was my baby. Um, I had never felt that there was a movie about dance that had, was actually about the world of dance itself and acknowledged dancers and that, what amazing athletes and artists they are in the way that I felt they deserved. I got to work with Robert Altman and I got to work with the Joffrey Ballet. Barbara Turner, who was our writer, um, and I had been traveling back and forth to New York um, trying to convince Bob to direct the movie. And at one point he said to me, um, Nev, you better be able to dance because that's the only reason I can make this movie. And I had dislocated my knee and I had been told I wasn't going to be able to walk for six months and I had hid my knee brace out in the hallway and didn't tell him and managed to get really good physio um, and figured it out. This is nice. I usually sleep alone. Uh, Mad Men was an amazing experience. I mean, getting to work with John Hamm, he's phenomenal and real professional, and I was such a fan of the show that it was just an honor to be there. And we shot it real quick and had a lot of fun. Ma'am, I was hoping we could discuss my future. Oh, Leanne, I would love to discuss your future, but not yet. House of Cards, I was a fan of the show um, before I was given the role, so I was elated to get it and really, really super excited to um, go and join the cast. And I remember being really nervous and going, um, about to go to the read-through and getting out of the hotel and Michael Kelly, who plays Stamper, got out of the van, big open arms and gave me a huge hug and just welcomed me in the most lovely way and that's how it was on the show. It was fantastic. Watch the fifth season of House of Cards, streaming on Netflix.